So, stopping out here at the Idiot Village, a place I haven't been to in quite a long time. Because I have a project that I want to get working on nearby. Out that way. And as soon as I arrange for some daylight and get a spawn set nearby, we'll get on the way to that. All right. The project is over here. Basically, it's a iron golem farm. Now, I set it up per Doc M77's tutorial to, to be a hundred blocks away from this village. So I took this wall and counted out a hundred blocks that way. And that place is over here at this pillar. And that means that the farm itself will be over in this area right here. And I've got some stuff set up here so that I can produce the stuff that I need. Got a bunch of cobblestone in here. Let's get set up with a few things. Uh, let's see. Okay, we have a furnace here. And let's get a hopper pointing into that blah, into that chest. Furnace on top of the hopper. Another hopper going into the side. Another hopper going into the top. And then on top of this hopper, a couple of chests. And now we've got some blaze rods for fuel we can put in here. And now the cobble, we'll just drop that up here, and it'll get cooked into smooth stone. Actually, that should be enough for the time being, and it'll just keep going automatically. Let's throw another chest down here. Guaranteed to be enough room. Okay, so... All right, now the first step, we need to get a little bit of cobble to work with. And I'm going to come over here. Set up the first corner of the place right there. I'm going to go 10 up. Okay. And now I need to make a 20 by 20 platform as the base of the uh, iron farm. Ah. Uh, Missed it by one block. Okay, not a problem. Just fill in this last row. I have to fill in the inside anyway, so that won't be a problem. I don't have to go and tear that out. All right, now. Just to make sure, and I need to light this place up anyway, let's make sure this side is actually 20 blocks long. A 
it's 21 blocks long. Okay. So I fill this in. Break the outer wall, the outer layer of blocks out. And we'll have a proper 20 by 20. Although I need to get some torches and make sure about the other sides. Because the numbers matter. And that's the one thing I don't have more of. So I'm going to get some torches and a few other things and be back. Alright, I went ahead and got some torches and a couple of other things. And I confirmed that this is a 20 by 20 platform. I do have the measurements right. And I also built a small work area platform outside here, which will be removed as prog project progresses. And an infinite water spring here. And I also decided that it would be handier to have a small place here, a construction shack, if you will, for sleeping through the night. Because, frankly, once I get working, sleeping through the night is the only thing that's going to keep spawns that I don't want from... Oh, I hate doors. The only way to keep spawns that I don't want from happening up here, because I'm now going to have to go through here, remove all of these torches and start building up the outer walls of this thing. Of course it'll be easier on the spawns once I get the water placed and so on. And as you can tell I'm using the uh, I believe it's Panda 994's, 4994 or whatever. I believe it's his design, and I'm basing it off of Doc M77's tutorial. Now, I know several people have suggested that I should use Tango Tech's Iron Farm design, and I've looked at the video, and it is a very good design, but it does have one fatal flaw in that it has to be built in spawn chunks. And this is a long way from spawn chunks. And I don't want this thing built in spawn chunks. I want it built here. So I'm going to go ahead with this older classic design. And we'll just do that. Why did I come down here? I need to start putting up walls. So I'm going to start on getting the walls put up. And... Uh, the next step or two, which is going to be setting up where the doors are going to be and where the uh, villager chambers is going to be, and so on. And because I'm referring back to... Oh, that's right. I wanted to use stone brick for this. Ah! Now I'm going to have to go back and tear out that cobble. That's why I have that automatic furnace thing down there making smooth stone, because I wanted to use stone brick. Oh well, I'll get working on this. And like I said, because I'm referring back to Doc's video so much, I'm just going to uh, get working on this and check in every now and then during construction to report my progress. Okay. I am now at the point where I need to start putting in the doors. And that's six doors between each side and the middle. On each side. And unfortunately, doors don't stack yet. Now, I've understood that they do stack in 1.8, but not yet.
And so I have to make and place a total of 48 doors for this thing to work. And uh, then, let's see, can I just, uh, yeah, good. Temporary opening to get access. All right, so. Get the rest of these doors in place and then continue to the next phase. All right, these sides are complete. All the way up to the doors anyway and now time to get ready to do some water works here first thing I need to do is plug that hole that I made and then fit the corners with some dirt blocks which is important for making sure that the water flow works correctly And then, by doing this trick with the water, I make sure that there is source blocks all along all four sides. A little annoying doing this with the water going, but not too big of a problem. It's just a question of aiming for the right water block. There's two water blocks, you know, like one here and one here. Well, the one in the corner there and the one here, the space in between them becomes a water block, and I can pick that up and it'll regenerate. And I just, just skip a block each way all the way down, making sure that there is a solid line of water blocks along here, like one here, one here, and I can pick up from in between them. And just keep moving it down the row. Okay. The fact that it all flows here and creates a nice solid square two by two in the middle is just perfect. Now I go against the current fill my water buckets take that out of the corner and put one block of water up one. It has to be up one otherwise it will cause a solid water source there and the whole thing will fill in with water source blocks and you don't want that. It's a little n annoying to navigate through but it's not too big of a problem. You just have to be persistent.
there. Just exactly the way it's supposed to be. And now I'm going to go around the edge here and just throw down some torches to make sure there is lighting all the way around. That prevents zombie spawns from happening, which, since this is villager powered, that would be a really bad thing. I probably don't need the, quite this many, but. I would rather have 20 or 30 extras than to have not enough. Okay, now this level spawning area is completed. So I'm going to knock out three of those blocks. I'm going to leave this one so that any uh, golems that do spawn in here will stay in here for the time being. Now I'll just ender pearl down. And the next step is I'm going to go ahead and get the second layer of spawning area built up, which is going to be largely the same as the first, only without the doors. And for that, basically all I'm really going to need is a bunch more uh, stone brick. and get the next layer going here. And so on. This time with two high walls, no gaps for doors or anything, and another 20 by 20 platform, another uh, platform in the middle in there. I forgot to shift click. So basically I just built another 20 by 20, put a set of walls too high around the outside, and then do the water thing again, ending with another square 2 by 2 opening in the middle. Now I just need to fill this in, put walls on it, and apply the water. And I'll be back when I finish that. All right, got this second layer all ready for the water. I think I'm going to see if I can do it from up on the wall here this time.
Eh, that didn't work out so great. Couldn't see really where I was putting stuff. But this works out just as well. That's all set. Now deal with the corners. And that'll be that. A little bit of fun trying to navigate against the water current, but not too bad. And this should be the last time I have to be on this level. Sort of. Alright. Alright, now I'm going to grab some daylight. And then it will be time to start building the villager chambers, one on each side. And then once that's done, this entire structure will get to build it again, about 80 blocks straight up.